Hello, my name is Bon Lee Yun. I work for PPAC program, CDC CRO Department of Neighborhood. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to connect the pipe and also want to show you what kind of tool that you need to work with your pipe, connecting the pipe, poly pipe, PVC, or uh, governor pipes, metal pipes. This is the tool that you're going to use and I will explain you all of this. If you want to use a poly pipe, there's a poly pipe, just a short one to show you, very short one. There's a rubber kind of tough. This is called poly pipe. If you use this one, it's called poly pipe. And this is the cutter to cut the poly pipe. This is the best tool to cut poly pipe or PVC pipe. Really great. This is a good tool to use. If you don't have this, you can use this kind of uh, hand saws. They can work with metals and PVC pipes and poly pipes very well. When you use the poly pipe, um, I always use a Vaseline. Maybe I take my glove and show. Um, okay, hold on a second. This Vaseline works very good with poly pipe to connect with the fitting, metal fitting or plastic fitting. I use it all the time to loop it inside. It's easy to install. To use this kind of pipe, you have to connect it really carefully, not to wobbling the, um, the end of it. It might cause leak later. So install properly will guarantee 100% no leaks. Okay. Um, when you connect the poly pipe, you always use clamps, two clamps. The example of it, we will put like this, and then the, the opposite hands. Two clamps at each connecting part. So able to use this clamp to tighten it. We use nut driver. This is called nut driver. See the heads. And you can turn this part to grip the poly pipe. Okay, that one. And this, the best thing you have to have with you. This is very important to clean your hands or to clean the pipe. Make sure it's no dirt inside, outside. It's easy to work. So if you have dirt around the outside or the inside, it will cause um, water leaks later. So keep it clean. So this is a really good one for you to keep it. And also when you test the water, always need this as well. Okay, this for um, the pol poly pipe tool that you need to connect it. Okay, now we move to this section here. This section here, we have hammers, Teflon tape, half inch. We have um, Teflon thread compound can be a different name brand is fine too but this is the best one and this one is the cleaning press you need to have it to clean the thread and this tool is the best if you have a big side that you want to, to um, tighten um, for example this really small can work with this but if it's big, like three inches, this will work great. Grip real well. My recommendation, if you have not like this, very clean, suggest to use the clean um, 
pipe wrench. No teeth. If you use a teeth, it will damage like this one. It will damage the nut. So we don't want don't want it to mess up with the with the nuts. Okay. Um, again, this one is this uh, pie wrench. We use this all the time to hold the pipe something tight. We always use this one. For example, this is the pipe metal galvanized. If you have this kind of pipe, we want to um, connect it to spigot uh, valves. We have to use this one to hold the pipe right here. This can grip the pipe, can stay in one place. So easy to work at the end part right here. If you don't use this one, this is not gonna work. This also has a T2, but it's gonna be crying. It's not gonna work. So my suggestion to hold the pipe to use this pipe wrench. And this is called adjustable wrench. This will work good with this side. And perfect. It's no larger than that. That's perfect for this net. Yep. But if it's larger, you have to need to use the other kind. So that's for, for that. It's called adjustable wrench. And also this called um, grip. Um, yeah, you can call it pliers or can be um, wrench either way but this can adjustable as well for small for big okay and what else do we need to show you um, this one is the spigot valve this is the one that we're going to use when you want to turn on the water this is gonna be right here and on and off yeah. that's for that and also, this one is called a meter key. This bigger one, longer one that you can use to turn the sub meter or the bigger shut off valve. They're pretty easy, very strong. So I can show you um, the place where we can now um, see. Uh, they have a U with the end right here. That's good. Okay. And um, tape measure. All the way have tape measure. If you want to cut the poly pie length, um, how, what size you want to cut? Two feet, three feet? Uh, you cannot guess. You gotta make mistake. So better to use the uh, measuring tape. Okay. And marker. It's the best one. If you want to cut the pipe, you have to mark it so you know where to cut. You don't um, make mistake and cut the short length. Okay. Uh, um, now we're going to build a or uh, put together to make a spigot riser or spigot wow. Uh, first, we need two, one pipe wrench and one adjustable high range and the cleaning brush Teflon tape I mean the Teflon tape compound joint and the part okay what are you gonna do for, for the first part you gotta clean this is the shreds I remove the um, plastic and this is what we use to clean the thread to make sure it's no dirt inside. Okay, that's for that one. And we're gonna use a T. Make sure to check it. 
all cleans. Look good. This is what we're going to do. I want to show you how to use the table and tape with the thread. Pull the covers. You see the hole? Like a donut hole. Okay. And you pull this a little bit. You see that? Yep. Put it down like this. Not up like that. Like this. Okay? Down like that. And put your finger here and pull it so you can adjust. You can move pretty easy. Okay. What to do with this? Um, you can place like that. Put your fingers. Go clockwise. Yeah, clockwise, okay, like that. See, I can pull a little bit to make sure it's going um, to the stretch and pretty tight to it. This is called one round. When it hit one round, because we have about double side of this tape, half in top and tape, but the stretch is go up here. So we have to uh, move to the side a little bit not the same spot. A little bit. One. Now we have two rounds. Go back again. And we hit to the end of the thread. Now it kind of um, rolling in. Now it's time to roll it back out. Okay. Same one. One. And move it out. Two. And then go one more round. That's it. Like that. We always, um, this is just my preference. I always use Taplon tapes and Taplon compound. Just a little bit to apply on top of it. Not a lot. Um, just to keep it nicely um, installed and guarantee no leaks. Again, this one will go to clockwise again. If you go opposite, it will remove the top and tape. So just put on top, just a little bit, a little bit like that. Not too much. That's it. Not a lot. And then this one, you can use like an airwag. Yeah, to clean your air. Um, like that. Just a little bit like that. Good enough. Okay. That for this part. That puts away. Okay. Now we're going to use by hand. Make sure it's no crooked. Straight. Use it by hand and tight it until you cannot go. It's about halfway. My hand may be two pounds um, or three pounds, but can't go. So this is the tool that we're going to use. Yep. Use this one to clip it. For right here, we can use, if this one doesn't work, we can use another kind of pipe range. The biggest pipe range and the smallest pie range because this one is no net so we can use this kind so we can use right here this have to use opposite way if you use this way this you can use your feet to hold this because you work by yourself I work by myself so I can do this on my own no need to people. But if you don't have more people, you can have to hold the pipe. But if not, my uh, foot step on this one, this grip right here, and I can work right here for freely. So again, a clockwise. Okay, keep going until it's tight. Go in. Go in, 
Go in. He say, good. Yep. Okay. Now we got a T. Next step, we're going to use this one to connect right here. Um, to make a double spigot valve. Both sides. One for this side and one for this side. Okay, let's do it. What we need to do, we got to clean again. And again, this thread is not big, it's just small. It's about the same size as the tough one tape. So, again, pull it. This you can adjust with your finger. And you're not mess up with that and uh, loose. And it's gonna be tight to the thread and install properly. Again, same see as my finger. I can pull it, it stay. So you don't have to you don't have to roll this way and back out. You don't need to do that because the thread is small. So what you do, you just say one. Two, three. Some uh, might need three and a half. Some might need three. Some might need three round and a quarter or a half. Add another half or another quarter. But for me, I think it's just a quarter. About right here. So you can, uh, like that. Again, compound joints or this is the best brand I recommend. Really fine. Again, just a little bit around. Not go backwards. If you put too much, uh, we don't need too much. It's gonna be mess messy. So just a little bit like that. Put in the way. Again, use by hands, slowly, like that. Go with your hands until your hand tired cannot go, then you can use the tool. Yep, my hand cannot move. Then this time we can use this one. Now, you have to have something to um, prop. Um, underneath so easy for you to do the work if you lay on the ground it's, it's fine if you don't have um, something to put a uh, table if you have table you can put table but for me I like to use this one it's work great for me so I hold like that I do like this it's pretty easy not hard okay just one Keep going. Until uh, straight down the bottom like that. That's good enough. And you see right here, just a little bit left. Not all the way not all the way and not leave too much gap either it's about that and pretty tight now guarantee no leaks okay and now it's time to put another one okay this is what it look like on the top part what you need to do you put the regular holes for your garden or for your project whatever this is what it will look like you can use uh, two lines Right here is a shut off wow turn off turn on. So this is what it looked like. How to make how to put together um, two spigot wow for one uh, spigot right 